Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Star City Alchemy, I'm DM. And what I'm about to show you is, uh, it's a theory that runs counter to the law of gravity. But apparently, um, gravity has to be explained by dark matter, meaning what we should be seeing, we're not seeing. If gravity were the case, if all that the universe was pulled together by was gravity, then there's something missing because we're seeing different effects than what we should be seeing at the, I guess, the outer reaches. Um, so this guy on the Y files, WHY, says gravity is a lie, light speed is slow, nothing is real, the universe is electric. And the idea of the electric universe is that it's just one big circuit. Which would kind of make sense if it's both electric and magnetic. And in fact, Nikola Tesla talked about how, you know, thinking about gravity, it wasn't really gravity, but it was density. So I want you to watch this and see what you think. Standard cosmological theory says that the universe was created during the Big Bang. For 400,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe was mostly hydrogen and helium just floating around. Then gravity started to pull matter into bundles that became stars. Gravity pulled stars into galaxies. Gravity pulled galaxies into clusters. After that, supernova explode and the universe is sprinkled with elements. Gravity causes these elements to coalesce into planets. Those planets fall into regular orbits around their stars and here we are, all thanks to gravity. The current theory of gravity was proposed by Albert Einstein through his work on general and special relativity, published in 1915. But there's a problem with this theory, and Einstein knew it. Gravity isn't strong enough to keep all this stuff in place, especially on a large scale. Given the amount of matter spinning around a galaxy and how fast it's moving, everything should fly apart, but it doesn't. So what's holding everything in place? Well, officially, it's dark matter, which you've heard of. But here's a little secret about dark matter that they don't tell us. There's no proof it exists. Dark matter is just a theory that's used as a band-aid to explain the gravity problem. But maybe there's something else happening. Maybe our universe isn't held together by gravity, it's held together by electricity. The electric universe theory says that permeating space is a vast sea of ionized particles. These particles create an enormous field of plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter, the others being solid, liquid, and gas. Not only is our sun mostly plasma, Plasma makes up over 99.9% .9 of the visible universe. This network of plasma is so massive that it connects every galaxy in the universe in a single electric circuit. This circuit not only conducts electricity over great distances, but it transmits it faster than light. Much faster. If the electric universe theory is true, it will change everything we know about physics and reframe our understanding of the cosmos. But what evidence is there? Electric cosmologists have recently begun testing their theories in the lab and have produced surprising results. But the real proof may not be found in cosmology, but archaeology. The electric universe theory says that, at one time, our night sky was a tapestry of glowing plasma. But then a drastic cosmic event changed our sky forever. Our ancestors recorded this event in customs and in myths and symbology. But changes to the sky weren't the only thing they described. Hidden among the symbols is the record of a catastrophe, one that's left scars across not just the Earth, 
but every planet in the solar system. The Grand Canyon is one of the most iconic places in the world. The Colorado River flows between the canyon walls. All right, guys. <clears throat> so you can check that out on YouTube. It's the Y files. Gravity is a lie, light speed is slow, nothing is real, the universe is electric. I've spent some time doing my own research on various alternative theories. And when you look into mathematics and you look into science and you look into physics, you start finding holes. There was an astrophysicist who wrote a trilogy. And one of the books is like 700 pages long. But basically, because of the holes that he was seeing in mathematics and physics, he started looking into metaphysics. And, they, and metaphysics started repairing some of those holes or filling in the gaps. And I will show you. So let's go to a new tab here. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon.com. Oops. We're going to search with the filter books. We're going to type in Claude Swanson. Now, what's interesting is that on the television show Smallville, where Tom Welling plays Superman before he's fully Superman, Christopher Reeves plays Dr. Claude Swanson. Or Dr. Swanson. I don't know if a Claude is in there. But I found that interesting. Um, Superman, if you don't know, was written by two Jewish, I believe, two Jewish brothers. And Superman's name is... Kal-El. And when you look into metaphysics, you look into um, the tree of life. You look into the Kabbalah or Kabbalah. You start coming across different gods and goddesses. Um, one of them was Yahweh and another one was Baal, B-A apostrophe A-L. Um, and there were suffixes that were added on to a lot of the names of L, E-L. So it's just kind of interesting. And then if you watch the different shows, you really get the sense of kind of this metaphysical knowledge. And it was, it's presented in the show as, you know, advanced science of another planetary system, right? But I just found that interesting. So anyways, Claude Swanson. So we'll type in Claude Swanson. And this is one of his books, Science of the Soul, the Afterlife and the Shift. The Synchronized Universe, New Science of the Paranormal. And this one right here, Life Force, The Scientific Basis, Volume 2 of the Synchronized Universe. So this would probably be... Probably be the third volume, is my guess. But if you look, he is a... PhD. 
Claude Swanson. Oh yeah, volume three of the synchronized... Volume three of the synchronized universe. So let's see if they'll let us look inside. So they aren't letting us look inside, but let's... So, a physicist looks at subtle energy, the life force. Physicist Dr. Claude Swanson, educated at MIT and Princeton University, describes the latest discoveries in energy medicine. This is the secret of life, how the body's trillions of cells grow, repair, and heal the scientific explanation for the aura and chakras, how energy healers direct their powers across thousands of miles to be measured in distant laboratories. Electromagnetism holds only part of the answer. There is a new force unknown to Western science, which holds the key, we call it the life force. Now, this must have been written a, a while ago because we've definitely heard of the Western world has definitely heard of chi by now. It has been known by many names, chi, prana, uh, subtle energy, torsion, the information field, bioplasma. It couples to consciousness, is essential to all of life, and can alter space and time as well as physical processes. It is the secret behind many phenomena which have long puzzled science such as PK, which is psychokinesis, ESP, and OBEs, or out-of-body experiences. It is a breakthrough in the science of life in the integration of consciousness with physics. It is the science behind the word energy in energy medicine. Laboratory proof, labor, laboratory, labor laboratory laboratory proof the physical basis for long distance healing qigong reiki and pranic healing breakthrough russian physics of the torsion field the physics behind acupuncture why it works how it heals scientific explanation of the aura earth energies and sacred sites new devices and technologies the science behind the, behind the power of intention connection to higher dimensions, physics of quantum consciousness. So if you guys who are probably on my channel for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons being that you like to watch the, um, you like to, let me see, yeah. You like to watch the telekinesis demonstrations and maybe you take time to listen to some of my explanations. A really good book to get would be this book, right? Life Force, The Scientific Basis, Volume 2 of the Synchronized Universe. Look at how much it is. That's how valuable it is right now. That's how valuable the market on Amazon thinks it is. And that's used. That's not even new. Um, eight used from 1023. So if we click on that, let's see what it says. Okay, this one's 10123. This one's 105. This one's 148. This one's 179. This one's 189. This, this one's 196. All right. So when I tell you that it's a very valuable manuscript, um, it is, and I've read only parts of it, but just reading a tiny part of it, it explained way more than most books I've come across, except for, you know, one very jam-packed book would be, well, I don't have it here, have it in my other bookshelf is um, 
The Ancient Secrets of the Flower of Life by Drunvalo Melchizedek, which talk about, a lot of it talks about the Merkabah and, you know, sacred geometry and all that kind of stuff. And it talks about consciousness and it talks about ancient civilizations, it talks about morphic fields, it talks about a lot of different things. And, and that guy has three volumes as well. All right, guys. See you next time.